I think just what we said the other day, defense started really fast. They tackled well. They played their gaps, you know, played their responsibilities. I don't know when a case of the offense wasn't ready. I think defense really came ready. And uh, now at halftime, I think the offense responded, came back to situations and made some plays, which we would expect them to do. But, I, you know, I think overall it was kind of what we thought, you know, when we were out here. You know, it's, it's funny you say that because we talked to them about it, you know, this weekend is, is that we really hadn't made any decisions yet. Uh, you know, we're still letting this thing go out to maybe the end of this week before we make it, you know, make a decision. I think we got a read on it. I think, you know, we're, and you can, you know, somebody comes out in first, somebody comes out in second. That's what we base it on. But, you know, I, sometimes you wish you had a clear cut one or two. You know, I wish I had a guy that was that much better. Maybe the next guy could still be good and that guy was unbelievable. So, you know, sometimes that, that would be better to have that. But at the same time, I think we got some solid guys. And, you know, whether you're talking about quarterback or, safety or where at, you know, so I think we got some guys that will run out with the first group and, and then we got some guys that are really right on their heels. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think we've made a huge improvement. I mean, it's not necessarily where we want it to be, but I think we've, we've created enough to practice, enough to, to go out there with a good first unit. You know, I think the, the worry is the next six, seven, eight. And I've been around offensive line that, that never had one guy banged up and, and they were able to live together. And then I've had some that they weren't, you know, and then it's how good is your backup? You know, I, I just have to sit here and mention 20 guys, I mean, I can. I mean, I'd say you've got Bobby Baker, uh, you've got uh, Carter, you've got, uh, uh, I mean, Lord, we've just got so many. You got, I mean, I, I, that was two guys I just immediately thought at safety. You've got um, Nauman comes back from an injury at O-line, uh, Kalepe. Um, you know, so that's four guys. I just think because I just think what we did in practice. I mean, there's probably 20 guys that weren't here in the spring. I mean, you got to think we had eight offensive line. We brought in five or six new safeties. So, um, you know, so without leaving anybody out, we've got tons of guys. I could probably just give a talk on just new guys, but you'll see them, you know, next year. So probably, probably. And so there's Humphrey. There's, uh, you know, Benson. There's, uh, you know, like I said, the list just keeps going. It's just, it's really. It's almost like we got more new ones and old ones, and that's why, yeah, we look at history of what happened here, but there's so many guys that are new to our program, just like we're new. That it's, you know, yeah, I think we do some this week. I think you want to keep speed of the game, you know, and that's where you get to go against each other. And I'm not going to go tell the defense they got to get in a look just for the offense and the offense for the defense. So it's it's kind of a split deal. Um, you know, it's almost like what you do for an open day, you know. And, uh, this, like I said, this game is going to be very important to them. It's going to be very important to us, but it's it's not our whole season, and we've got to keep getting better, especially with us being new. We, like I said the other day, we want to be a better team week two than we're week one and week three. You know, um, yet be ready for the first. So you got to have a mixture.